Staff Supervisor Molster gives to these guys. I'll the, make a call for each one. <laughs> the theme that, that I want to get out here tonight is the team effort of law enforcement in Ulster County. Uh, and I like to sort of refer to it right now as the perfect storm. You can't have the cops doing their job if the DA is not going to prosecute. You can't have the cops and the DA doing their job if the county court judges aren't going to give out the appropriate sentences. And in my 37 years in law enforcement, I think right now really is about the best it's been in Ulster County. Uh, Countywide, we work as a team. The other reason I wanted to come here tonight is whatever happens in the city of Kingston resonates out to the rest of the county. It's an important. If any of you remember Gordon Webb, Gordon Webb, when he was still alive, was on me all the time about how he wanted to make Kingston the safest small city in New York State. And I think it's a doable thing. And I think if you look at the crime statistics in the city of Kingston and countywide and how many people we've aggressively arrested and uh, prosecuted and put in jail, we've done that here in Ulster County at least in the last probably seven, eight, or 10 years. Uh, with that said, I'm really here to support Chief Tinty. I think he's doing a great job. I think his initiatives that he's gonna put forward, I think the new blood that comes into an organization where somebody you know wants to come out with their own ideas, I think it's great. We are here to support him, whatever the chief wants or the chief of Ulster wants, the resources the Ulster County Sheriff's Office are there for them. We have done initiatives where we've done ATVs in, in targeted areas in the city of Kingston, uh, bike patrols in the city of Kingston, uh, canine patrols specifically in targeted areas of the city of Kingston over the past five, six years, and also teamed up and rode with uh, officers from KPD, or they rode with us, depending on, on the day. So we're always looking for new ways to do it, and I, and I think we're really hitting a home run. Technology-wise, it could not be any better than Ulster County and I think either the chief or one of the chiefs said that the sheriff's office leads it in the Hudson Valley, and we really do. But we share it with everybody, you know, and that's the only way. Not you can't just have technology; you got to share it. You can't only have intelligence; you have to share it. You can't keep it to yourself. The technology with the LPRs, the license plate readers, is going to be another home run. And you know, the ones that are on the cars, you can see them because they look like big antennas on the back of your cars. But the ones that we're going to put up around the city and town of Ulster soon we hope we won't be able to see them and we won't tell you where they are but they're there for intelligent gathering and we don't give that information to anybody except for police agencies we've had questions of, hey can anybody get it and no we don't sell that information it's for us and it's going to be a great thing for us and for the citizens of the county again any we, we've handled in the city of kingston every year about 1400 calls for service that's just the sheriff's office that's not uh, added on to their calls or whatnot, that's just the stuff that we do and it runs the gamut. Uh, whether it's a 911 call or whether it's an assistance call to the City of Kingston Police Department, we do evictions in the City of Kingston, we do drug investigations along with their people, and uh, you name it, you know, we're involved in the City of Kingston and we try and, and work hand in hand with the City Police at the same time. In the town of Ulster, we handle about 1,500 calls per year, and those are calls that you know, probably wouldn't get handled as fast or maybe not at all if, uh, you know, there wasn't other agencies out there. Uh, ourselves and the state police, there's that much police work out there. The closest car concept at a 911 center is perfect. That's the only way to get the fastest car there. I don't know if either one of the, I don't mean to talk real fast or ramble, but I don't know if any one of the chiefs mentioned about, if you see something, say something. It's never that not important for somebody to get there. Whether we get there, whether the state gets there, also, or, or uh, KPD gets there, you know, we don't care what it is called because it could actually turn into something, or the information we get from that call could turn into something later down the road. Training, we have the Ulster County Law Enforcement Group, uh, Sergeant Mike Bunce from uh, KPD and Sergeant Alan Rao from the Sheriff's Office pretty much run that. And I think this year we're doing 13 different types of training, and that training is open to everyone in the county. We get everyone in the county, and then also we get people outside the county. Our K-9 units, we have seven K-9 units within the Sheriff's Office, and there's not hardly a day that goes by that we're not using those units somewhere to assist another agency in the county, whether it be KPD or Ulster or the state or whoever. But the only way we're gonna get things done here in Ulster County is teamwork, and, and I really believe that it has not been better in all my years on the job. And the difference between proactive and reactive, we're proactive have to be proactive. Reactive, you go call to call to call, you don't get much accomplished.
proactive and find spots the chief showed the spots in, in the city where he has issues he'll, he'll address that but he'll address that with all of us together a team effort i think uh, everybody can be proud of what the police agencies in ulster county are doing thank you and i will turn it over to captain Lee. 